Hi Lafayette third graders, it's Miss Clark and today we're going to continue talking about polygons and naming and identifying different polygons. Yesterday you reviewed three and four sided shapes. We learned that three sided shapes are called triangles and four sided shapes are called quadrilaterals. Now, there are different kinds of quadrilaterals, like squares, and rectangles, and trapezoids, and rhombus, and parallelograms. They all have four sides, so they're all considered quadrilaterals. Today, we're going to learn about shapes with five sides, six sides, seven sides, eight sides, nine sides, and 10 sides. There is a lot of vocabulary we're going to learn today, so I want you to pause the video right now and grab your math journal because we're going to write down each of these different shapes. When you have your math journal and a pencil, you may come back and pause the video. All right, here we go. Five-sided shapes are called pentagons. A pentagon traditionally looks something like this. There are one, two, three, four, five. But I don't want you to get stuck on thinking that all pentagons look just like this. No matter what the shape looks like, if there are five sides, then it is going to be a pentagon. Look at this shape here. There's one, two, three, four, and five sides. And this shape has one, two, three, four, and five sides. These two shapes certainly do not look like this one, but since there are five sides, it's going to be a pentagon. Go ahead and pause the video and I want you to copy down this sentence. A five-sided shape is called a pentagon. When you're done, go ahead and unpause the video and we're gonna move on to a six-sided shape. All right, six-sided shapes are called hexagons. Now normally, a hexagon looks like this. You might have seen a shape like this, like a hexagon with like a tanagram piece um, that you may have used in math before. But just like with pentagons, no matter what the shape looks like, if there are six sides, it is a hexagon. This shape here has one, two, three, four, five, six sides and one, two, three, four, five, six sides. These two shapes are different from one another and they're definitely different than this shape here, but they all have six sides, so they're all going to be a hexagon. Go ahead and pause the video and copy down this top sentence. A six-sided shape is called a hexagon. When you have that sentence written down, go ahead and unpause the video and we're going to move on. Next, we have a seven-sided shape. The seven-sided shape sounds very similar to a hexagon, except it is called a heptagon. This is what a heptagon usually looks like, but you know the drill. No matter what the shape looks like, if there are seven sides, it's going to be a heptagon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven there, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven there. Go ahead and pause the video and write down this top sentence. A seven-sided shape is called a heptagon. When you have that sentence written down, unpause to move on to the next shape. Okay, an eight-sided shape is called an octagon.
octagon. When you think about an octagon, you might instantly think of a stop sign because stop signs have eight sides. But again, no matter what the shape looks like, if there are eight sides, it is an octagon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Every shape has eight sides, but they don't look the same. But that's okay, because a shape with eight sides is called an octagon. I want you to pause the video and write down this top sentence again. An eight-sided shape is called an octagon. All right, now we have nine-sided shapes. A nine-sided shape is called a nonagon. Remember, no matter what the shape looks like, if there are nine sides, it is a nonagon. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All look different, but they all have nine sides, so they're all going to be a nonagon. Go ahead and pause the video, just like with our other ones, and copy down this top sentence. A nine-sided shape is called a nonagon. When you're done, unpause the video to move on to the next shape. Last but not least, we have ten-sided shapes. A ten-sided shape is called a decagon. Remember, just like with every other one, no matter what the shape looks like, if there are ten sides, it is a decagon. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They all look different, but they all have ten sides. So they're all going to be a decagon. Go ahead and pause the video and copy down this top sentence. A ten-sided shape is called a decagon. When you're finished, unpause the video and we're going to practice identifying some different shapes. All right, I want you to try. What is this shape? Now, pause the video and think about what shape is this? Don't tell me that it's an arrow. Remember, to figure out the shape, you need to count the sides. All right, boys and girls, when I count the sides on this arrow, I see that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sides. I know that a seven-sided shape is called a heptagon because I looked at my note and that told me seven sides is a heptagon. All right, how many sides does a nonagon have? Remember, you can look at your note to help you. Pause the video and think about how many sides does a nonagon have. All right, boys and girls, when I looked at my notes, I saw that a nonagon has nine sides. It's easy to remember a nonagon because nonagon and nine both start with the letter N. All right, what is a shape with six sides? Sides called. Go ahead and pause the video and look at your notes. And tell me what is the shape with six sides called? All right, I looked at my notes and it told me that a six sided shape is called a hexagon. All right, third graders, great job today. You're going to move on to the next activity 
and you're going to practice identifying different shapes. Now there's, remember, there's a lot of vocabulary. So when you are working on your next graded assignment, don't forget, you can use your notes to help you. You did an awesome job today and good luck on your graded assignment.